Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. For today, I wanted to start leaning into a lot of false speculations when it comes to the black community and things that black women go through. So for today's topic, we will be addressing as you can see, black women, the forgotten survivors of, um, this is going to be a bit of a heavy topic. Anytime I want it to say K-L-L-E-D, I will be saying nerfed. I understand that might be a bit, I could say off, but I'm not sure which will be, be um, more appropriate so that this video will not get taken down. When it comes to saying SCX, I will be saying, I haven't thought that through yet. <laughs> we'll just, I'm going to just not say the word and I'll just say assault. And then when it comes to saying R-A-P-E-V, I will say taken advantage of. So there might be a few slip ups, but hopefully there won't be too many so that the video will still be allowed. So, the context of this video will be addressing speculations and for black women to become more aware of what the state of the community is and what black women need to, to start being more careful of. So, this is by the American Psychological so Association. Now, the thing is about this, um, this article, I'm assuming it was made by black women possibly, but the problem comes down to how, while addressing the survivors or black women as they are being hurt or nerfed, it fails to address who are the main culprits. And this is kind of the same mindset that is following black women around, which is, especially because of the black community, the black community shifting blame to other groups before addressing the main problems. And by that, you'll understand the trend once I start reading through this article. So here it addresses Rosa Parks, the civil rights, the civil rights movement, and then once we get down, they start addressing some statistics. Eight decades later, black women still need protection from violence despite the civil rights movement. Now just reading that right there, I will forever stand by the men of the community are supposed to protect the women. They are supposed to build so that other groups of men cannot come in and try to hurt the p women and children. If the men are sitting by idly, allowing the women to be hurt, it is not on another man's patriarchy to come in and try to protect these women and children. And it shouldn't, it is, I, this might be harsh, but I think it's pathetic that black women have to look to non-black men for support because not because black men are not in a state of power to protect their children and do not have any systems in place so that these women can get justice. So when I went by that, I was also pointing to the chat ruler situation and how many made fun of his wife or girlfriend, I don't remember which one she was, wife or girlfriend, I'm not sure, and how he was abused by a white man. And so they were making fun of her. But at the end of the day, she was abused by a white man. And if she gets justice, it will also be to white men because black men are not in a state of power, nor do they have systems to give her any justice. So as they sit by online laughing at her, what are they doing about it? And what can they do about it? Do they have any ability to do anything about it? So, you know, back to the article. For every black woman who reports being taken advantage of, at least 15 black women do not report. 
one in four black girls will be taken advantage of before the age of 18. One in five black women are survivors of being taken advantage of. And 35% of black men experience some form of violence during their lifetime. 40 to 60% of black women report being subjected to coercive by 18. Close to being touched by 18. 17% of black women experience sexual violence. Experience violence other than taken advantage of by an intimate partner during their lifetime. More than 20% of black women are taken advantage of during their lifetimes. A higher share than among women overall. Black women were two and a half times more likely to be nerfed by men than their white counterparts. And more than 9 in 10 black female victims knew their nerfers offers. Uh, um, black women also experienced significantly higher rates of psychological abuse, including humiliation, insults, name calling, and corrosive control than do women overall. Now, going back to... Um, Now, going down to this section, you will also see that playing video games with their nephew, Tatiana Jefferson was can we say, okay, shot and nursed in her home by a white American police officer. Now, all of these are completely tragic, and it's horrible that this happened. All of these are um, addressing cops. And these should be addressed, but for the context of this article, for the forgotten survivors of the taken advantage of, it needs to be understood that, and this is that we are not addressing the main culprits behind this, because majority of these women who are being nerfed or taken advantage of typically are by men they are dating their husbands, ex-boyfriends, and so on, and you need to understand that black women do not date out, date out, date out the least. So when you talk about this and you're pointing to the cops, it doesn't make sense because most of these girls are being hurt by men who look like them. And this will be addressed in this article, which is by HG Legal Resources. African American women disproportionately at risk for being nerfed by domestic violence. And so, if we just start scrolling down, we will see that 32 year old Deanna Cook's ex husband offed her in her home as she called 911 for help. Understand that her ex husband was also a black man. And he also often killed off four people, including his ex-girlfriend and estranged wife, and wounded and wounded four others in a horrific domestic violence spree. He also had a history of domestic abuse. Dallas police recorded 12 intimate partner homicides, and six of the victims were black women. Overall, the department recorded 13,324 family violence offenses, 7,366 including African Americans. Remember, black women did out the least. Now, when we go, right, now we're going to get into the motives or causes to all of this. According to studies, while prior domestic violence is the top risk factor in determining future attacks, unemployment is by far the most important demographic in putting someone at risk to be offed by an intimate partner. Okay, now when you look at that, understand we need to start thinking of the black community when we read these demographics, okay? When we read these, um, read these st statistics, the latest national unemployment rate for black people is 13%, more than 
more than double the 6.4% for white people. For black men, that figure is 13.5%, compared with 6.2% for white males. I will also, in future videos, be covering emasculation, and so, and how I do not encourage black women to get into a relationship with a man they make more than, because it will, you will be in the position as the man in the relationship, and you do not want to be in a relationship with a man who feels like he is being emasculated, because he will catify in any possible way to gain power within the relationship, and even though there is abuse in rich, um, in rich relationships, they aren't because the man does not feel any power. These relationships are because, these abuse in these relationships are because a man is getting resentful because the woman is doing more than him, or maybe he, is, he cannot seem to reach his, reach the potential that he believes that he should have already reached, and so he starts to become very bitter. So next, it says, interestingly, unemployed white males were as statistically likely to kill their partners as unemployed black men, but because the black unemployment rate is higher, there is a correspondingly higher rate of domestic violence. Experts believe that this ties to the American sense that having a job equates to the quality of one's masculinity. As I said, these men feel emasculated. If a man lacks unemployment, the lack, they lack the prestige of that job, and if they lack control over anything else, they will try to assert it over their partner. Just like how many relationships of um, when black women are the breadwinners, somehow and for some reason, the black woman gives her his credit card in public to make him seem as though he is somehow ma what masculine to his friends and stuff. Even though in a relationship, he is not taking on the masculine role he is supposed to be taking on. So then, next, it says, Black women often remain in volatile relationships longer than women of other races. And this is because of the whole strong, independent Black woman. And how she thinks that she can take a punch to the face. Because she has been told that she is powerful and that she can handle being hurt, and that she can take on anything. She has been told that her pain is a shown of strength, and that she should keep going, and that what she's going through now is perfectly fine, because she can handle it. And my channel is to make sure that black men understand they do not have to be going through pain and suffering just to be in a relationship. I think that if you are in a relationship that is putting you at risk, you are much better off single. Please just stay single. Do not get into a relationship with a man who will possibly hurt you. You cannot defend yourself. You cannot protect yourself by yourself. Okay? If a man is putting his hands on you, you need to run and call the cops. Do not be so emotional or compassionate about calling the cops on a black man or any man in general. But we're going to be specific to black men because most black women date in within their race. You do not need to try to be so compassionate and scared that the cops are going to to off him because of thinking that he that he is, is someone's son or he is someone's father or things like that. Because in that moment, as he is slamming your face into a wall, he does not care that you are someone's sister, mother, or even niece. He does not care. He does not see you as family. So you need to have that same attitude or and be reciprocate of the way that he is treating you. He is not seeing you as family, so do not treat him as family. Black women need to understand how to disconnect their emotions so that that way they do not get themselves caught up in the situations that will, are detrimental to their health and could possibly end them completely. So as these black women are trying to fight back, 
understand when you try to fight a man, he's thinking about, I will not get beaten down by a woman. A woman will not take me down. If I get taken down by a woman, all of the men will turn around and see me as weak. So what happens, he will beat you harder. He will beat you harder until your head breaks. He will break into that wall, breaks and shatters and everything like that to make sure that his ego stays intact. So that's why I encourage black women, when you get become old enough to learn how to shoot, I will be learning how to shoot. I will be a gun owner. I will make sure that I never miss. Okay, because I grew up understanding that if someone hurts me, they, are, they do not deserve compassion because obviously they were not thinking of me in that moment and how I would feel. So there's no reason you should be doing the same thing, especially when it could end your life. So while this, it also talks about how domestic violence rates have dropped, um, honestly, I think that's possibly true. I have not double checked that, but I feel like things could possibly drop more as black women start raising their standards and stop going into abusive possible relationships that could hinder them. Oh, but finally, I wanted to address this part. So it says that black women found that 94% of black women off by men and single victims, like single offender incidents, knew their killers. This study was made in 2012, I believe. And so honestly, when it says that things have improved, I don't necessarily agree with that because in 2020, I believe was the most that black women have been offed. And off since, and again, majority of those of those cases were done were done by black men. Just and so, um, I feel like it's gotten worse, and that's why I'm glad that more black women are learning how to protect themselves, because we are not in a community that protects black women. So continuing, it says additionally nearly 15 times. As many black women were, mur- were offed by a man they knew, then were killed by a stranger. 64% of black victims who knew their attackers were wives, ex-wives, or girlfriends of the offer. Finally, the number of black women shot in- off by their husband or intimate partner was nearly five times as high as the total number off by strangers using all weapons combined. Now, remember, black women date out the least. So when you look at these videos made by the black manosphere, you need to remember they date when it comes to these statistics, you cannot turn around blame white, Asian, or other non-black men because black women are date out the least. So you cannot point these cases and situations to other groups of men because they're not the main ones doing it. So that needs to be understood. And honestly, I think that black women need to stop worrying so much about what could happen if she calls 911. You need to get somewhere place safe if you're worried about the cops turning on you. You need to get someplace safe and say, I'm scared to go outside. Or I'm scared to enter, come back to the home. Please get him. Please, he has hurt me. You need to tell them that you are scared to go back into the area in fear of your life. Do if you are scared of the cops turning on you again, just make saying that I will take myself to the hospital, and then you can report on the situation afterwards. But understand that these are not your. Stop thinking of them as your brothers, fathers nephews and so on. They do not see you as that, as they are hurting you. 
and they do not see you as that as their as their mothers and sisters and friends and stuff as they are taking your life that will be all for today thank you for stay stay mm, till the end if you made it to the end um and please remember black women please understand and say it with me no reciprocity you will not see me oh no no one more time one more thing i forgot one more thing so next after this i wanted to show you guys some videos and hopefully it will put into perspective what the men in our community are willing to do to you this black woman rejected him and so he decided to knock her out with a skateboard he didn't care he didn't care that he liked this girl he decided to knock her out with a skateboard and then he walked away like his crap doesn't stink look at this walk he's proud of himself at the way that he beat her and, her, and she could have been had some sort of blood vessel rupture or some other thing that she, that could have just she could probably never been woken up i don't even know if this girl ever recovered and so finally i also wanted to talk about these lyrics beautiful black woman i bet that b look better at he has a black daughter slow wayne and understand that when this happens these lyrics should have made black women understand how the men in the community see black women and understand Lil Wayne has a whole lot of influence. Man, there are so many little like little Wayne walking around all over the place who think that black women deserve to be abused. Who think that black women are basically the bane of everyone's existence and when they promote this without much repercussion re without much consequences repercussion reper repercussions <laughs> and stuff um it puts into perspective the lack of protection black women have in the black community so please understand what black women are at risk of who they are most at risk by and also please do not see any group of men as your ally completely because while our community has most black men are hurt by black men do not expect other groups of men to try to protect you over their women do not try to say that you will be safe you are not safe with any group of men do not trust them all just because of their skin color Trust must be earned, and so please do not look at any group of men as saviors. As saviors, even though um, well, yes, um, BWW and relationships have the best success rates. Do not take that as a way to kind of put them on a pedestal. I will be addressing TikTok videos of black girls, um, and them asking non-black boys if they find black girls attractive that is horrible and embarrassing please do not ruin your image like that i will also be covering black women to stop voicing if they only like a certain group voice that you have options even if you do limit yourself do not turn around and say i only like this or only like that because that cuts you off and that cuts other women off and it basically makes you look desperate or basically it limits opportunities you could have so these are future things i will be covering but please remember black women do not get into a relationship with men who are, you are more likely to be abused by and that is all for today thank you for watching the video and please remember black women 
No reciprocity, you will not see me. I will be sitting in my femininity. Thank you for joining me today, and goodbye.